This is Artie Fahey again, and again with Mr. Tyler, who's decided to have an elongated stay here at, the, at Farm Mills. You know, we just did a clinic, uh, wound it up a couple of hours ago on signs, and Mike says, why don't we do something about fences? It's one of his favorite topics. It's one of mine. I use fences all over, both on my N-Scale, Niagara, and Pearl Creek, and the SN2 Wharf Street layout. Mike has used them on all of his layouts, whether it's O-Scale or HO-Scale. Uh, it just doesn't make any difference. It's something that every single scale has in common. Now, fences are vertical elements that properly placed can really isolate a scene and give any building more of a sense of identity. It actually creates a piece of real estate on your land. And it's wonderful because they're so flexible, Mike. They fit in any area. And good fences make good neighbors, and we want to be happy with our neighbors, and that's why people put real fences up. The board fences we show in these buildings that come in many of the Bar Mills kits are a fast-vanishing fast part of Americana. I recently looked a photograph of a real one and had an awful time finding even one left, but we can still enjoy them in miniature. I'd like to show you a few techniques for finishing them that you may not have thought of. Well, you know, you say good fences make good neighbors. I think good fences make great models. Mike, why don't you take care of it, and we're going to just change scenes here and stick around for a few minutes. This is going to be a quick, interesting one, and one that everybody will want to cash in on. All right, we'd like to take this version of Earl's Oil, and I'd like to show you how to use an odd-shaped space. Model railroaders, just as in real life, are faced with art patches of land. When you're in the city, land is valuable and every little bit is used. A uh, fence helps define the space used by the rail company. We have a fence going up the side, and somebody could be next door, and the backyard could be woods, but just this little fence coming around the back at the odd angle and coming across defines the oil company and the woods. Also, it helps to separate the background buildings, which are just cut out paper, but quite effective. Same building, two different scales. Larger scale, the one we're looking at now is an O-scale model. The previous one was HO-scale. O-scale, as you could imagine, space becomes even more at a premium. Here we have the fence plus another device to frame the area. We have a simple right angle fence, which is all you really need to define the back. The building itself becomes the background here with the forest. And the billboard is used on this side, which acts very much like a fence visually. This separates the foreground from the background. Some simple trees are all you need to hide the fact that we have a very small space. Here we have the two dioramas in the same scene, just to show you how possible it is with use of fences and other visual blocks to create what seems to be a whole world in a very small space. We had previously talked about framing the background and the side ground. One thing we tend to forget is that one place we always run out of space is in the foreground. With this particular scene, we have a fence that helps to show the front edge of the layout. It's interesting, I think, that it hides a very detailed little area, so you have to look up and peer around it. The longer you have to look at something to see things, the more time you've spent examining these small details and looking around these barriers, the larger the whole scene appears to be. In this diorama, we have a completely different approach. There really is no background. The fence does define the foreground to some extent. What I find interesting is the two odd angle fences on either side, which almost become a pair of open arms drawing you into the structure. The old Brick the old work, the weathered wood, the beat up boards are some of the techniques we hope to show you to make your fences look different from everyone else's.